What up, peeps? It's your boy, the Penguin, and I'm at Hershey's Chocolate World to see if I can find some brand new snacks here on Penguin Eats. Welcome back, Wicked Turtle Nation. You know the show. It's Penguin Eats, and you know the guy. It's the Penguin. And I'm back for a little bash, and this and this little uh, battle is going to be the new plant-based oak chocolate confection and peanut butter Reese cups here at Chocolate World. If you heard the intro, that's where I'm at right now, Chocolate World. So this is the brand new thing. has been in the news. Everyone's talking about it. But I also picked up a regular one so we can do the compare between the tastes. I want to see which one tastes better. And you know what? I've never reviewed the Reese Cup, which is probably my favorite, so it's kind of biased. But, but, but we got to have that taste, and we got to see which one tastes better. Is it going to be made out of oat milk? Or, are we gonna, or is milk chocolate going to take it? We'll see what happens here. Let's give it a try. Let's open it up. The packaging feels really good. It says vegan on it, non-GMO project verified. So this is definitely a, a vegan option for all you vegan lovers out there. Um, that, made right here in Hershey, of course. Trying to see the, the, the calories. Let's go, let's go to the tail of the tape of each one here. Calories for the plant-based Reese Cups. Uh, 210, 14 grams of fat, uh, 75 milligrams of sodium, 21 grams of carbs, 15 grams of sugar, 3 grams of protein. Uh, trying to go, so the main ingredient in this is sugar, peanuts, cocoa butter, chocolate, oat flour, rice flour, dextrose, salt, and lectin, which is soy. Natural flavors, rosemary extract. Interesting. It's the last ingredient. Let's hit it up here now. Let's go back to uh, let's go to the good old fashioned that everybody loves here. So let's 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 check this out. So we said this is uh, 210 calories. Guess what? The original 210 calories. We said that the original now it has 12 grams of fat. Guess what? This has 14 grams of fat. Uh, also has four grams of saturated fats. I didn't even say that this, this has seven saturated fats, uh, trans fats, no trans fats in this one, trans fats, none in this one, cholesterol, no cholesterol. In fact, this is negative five milligrams of cholesterol, sodium, 150 milligrams of sodium compared to your 75, uh, Carbs, you have 24 grams of carbs, and this is only 21, so you're a little carb less. And what's funny is, is this is 20 grams of sugar, 15 grams of sugar, so 5 grams less there. And what this is the biggest one I think is, is hilarious. This one has 5 grams of proteins for all you protein lovers out there. And this one, which is the vegan thing, is 3 grams. So here's the thing. If you're coming on here to see if this is going to be healthy for you, pretty much this is a little bit better than this one when it comes to health-wise. I mean, it still is chocolate and it still is sugar. It still has a lot of the, that stuff. But health-wise, this has better numbers than this does. Weird, right? So let's let's open them up. We all know, everyone knows what the classic, the classic tastes like. So I don't have to go too in depth with the classic peanut butter cup, but you know what they have. You know what they look like. This is the classic one. So that's the that's the classic. Let's do the comparison of the packaging. Does feel really good. Oh, and they're oh look at this. So check out the difference here, Nation. This comes in a paper cup. This is the classic. Everyone knows the classic. This comes without a paper cup. Interesting, right? So let's do the plant-based one since it's already out of the wrapper. And you don't even get that cool thing like when you do a Reese cup. I'll show you. When you do a Reese cup, it usually sticks at the bottom. So let's do a taste. Let's taste it. The chocolate feels real hard. A little bit harder. I 
don't know. This is really tough. I just want a piece of chocolate and try the chocolate ones. I'm going to try the chocolate. The chocolate's really tough. It's a little harder than usual. And peanut butter wise. It has this classic peanut butter taste. So I don't think they've changed the recipe of the peanut butter. So let's hit up the original. Everybody knows the original. This is one of my favorites. Probably top three favorite things. Oh, this one didn't stick. <laughs> That's what happens when you take them. You got to take them home from the stick. Usually they stick at the bottom. Then you have the the butt is all exposed. <laughs> so let's go into this. I mean, see, I can already tell the difference. This chocolate here is very soft. Let's go. Mmm. Soft and creamy. Mmm. So good. Just a classic. Look at the difference between the two here, guys and gals. This is the plant-based. This is the regular. See, look at it. look at that. Look at the difference. There's definitely a difference in each one. This is a lot softer. The peanut butter is a lot softer. The peanut butter is soft in this one. This is a plant-based. But the chocolate is a lot harder. Oh, my God. This one's so good. I'm probably going to finish this one. <laughs> They're not bad. Like, this... It's not the worst thing I've ever put in my mouth. But it almost feels like a dark I mean, it doesn't taste like dark chocolate, but it's got that... I don't know if you can see what. There's a... There's a, a spring to it. And the peanut butter in the regular one is a lot softer compared to this one. There's a difference between the two. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about this one. I really don't. Take another taste of the plant base. It's mm, right there. Right as I ate this, I taste the oat. I definitely taste the oat now in this in the plant-based greasy cup. Definitely taste the oat. Oh, okay. It's a strong oat too. Yeah. Okay. So definitely taste the oat in it. The oat milk or the oat flavor. It's not bad. It's a little tough. It doesn't go down smooth like this one. All right, let's get the score. For the plant-based Reese cup, is this something I would buy again? If I was vegan, I'd probably this. So this is a great option for vegans, I should say. Perfect option for vegans if you go, if you like to count the little bits of the things for 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 vegan food. I think this one is, is a good option and you still get that Reese's peanut butter taste, but you also have that extra oat. If you're an oat milk fan that has that oat milk, this is also good. I don't know if it's, if that's basically lactose. I don't know if it's for people for lactose intolerant. Maybe, maybe, I don't know. I would have to do more research on that, but, um, yeah, the packaging, by the way, feels really good. Uh, the taste is is good, but still have the taste of oats. Would I get this again? For me, it's not for me. I probably wouldn't. The chocolate's a little bit hard. When I go through a Reese cup, I want to blast through it. So for me, I'm going to give this a score of... This is a score of 8. 8.0. Uh, this is good. Tastes good. If, if I wanted something different than just the Reese cup, then I would get this. So it's not bad. If I was vegan, I would I would pick this up. Okay. So for the original Reese's, which I'm not going to go too in-depth with this because everybody, everyone has a Reese's. If you haven't, please go to your store. Go buy a Reese's cup. Enjoy, enjoy life. So for the Reese's cup, this is going to get a 9.5. This is one of my favorite chocolates to eat. I love Reese's cups. And that's it. So if you like this video, please do me a favor, hit the like button, hit the subscribe, and hit that bell. Ding, ding, ding! And I'll see you for another Penguin Eats video. Blah, blam!